Case IH 600 series front and rear axles for Steiger and T9 New Hollands. So the gist of this video is, is trying to save customers money. And here's how we can save you money. You know you have an axle problem. Stop. Do not let your dealer or your mechanic just rip it apart to see what's going on with it. The first thing you should do is pull one, two, three plugs. So let's pretend that we have a right hand or whatever side this is. This is my right. We have a final right problem on this side. You're going to find metal here. Okay, and you're probably going to find a lot of metal. Now, just like the John Deere, how much metal's here? There's going to be some, but if it's small particles, you're okay. How much is here? There's going to be some, and if it's small particles, you're okay. Now, when I say you're okay, you're okay from having, a, having to buy hard parts. So, what that means is when you have a failure, this is a closed loop system. The contamination or the material is going to go all the way through the axle, and you cannot get it out of your bearings. You can flush your system all you want, but it's not going to come out of the bearings. We've learned this through, uh, as we take a core part, do an autopsy, if you will, Bearings can look great on one side, but the contamination that's in them, you'll never get it out. So it needs new bearings and seals. So if we know that it cost off the tractor, new bearings, new seals throughout is going to cost you about, let's just say ten to 15000 to make a nice range because different dealers are going to charge different prices. So that's your base. And let's just use 15 as the base because it's the higher. So now you've got to buy a final drive plus the $15,000. So that's how you can estimate your repair. So if you had to buy uh, everything in the final drive, and let's just uh, say it's $25,000 for that new. So, you're, so now you're at $40,000 for a basically a full rebuilt axle from a case dealer. So, to segue into that, that's how we can sell a completely rebuilt axle by a case dealer for 50,000 with a $10,000 core rebate if it comes in the condition that we're suggesting. Not taken apart, not strewn apart, because what happens there is that costs us extra, that costs us extra labor for the dealer to, you know, uh, well, we didn't think you needed the lines or the fitting, so we just threw all that shit away. Well, guess what? We have to buy that because we want to, we want those to be on our axle so that there's no contamination. And you want it also because then you don't put contamination in the rest of your tractor. So that's how we want to work that deal. Also, if you're a dealer or if it's at a dealer and you've already done what we suggested not to do, one way to get a lower price on this particular part is to let us know or to send us a copy of your quote. If the dealer tells, a, tells you this is what it's going to cost to fix this, fix your tractor or your axle, we can work off of that because that's telling us what we already want to know about the core. So as an example, you know, Anything can be fixed in the dealership. These are 20, I think 40 hour jobs is I think is what they charge. So, you know, 40 hours is not one week. It's going to be two weeks. And so for two weeks versus two days, you know, we can ship to almost any place in the country in two, in two days and you're back up and going in a week versus back up and going in three weeks you pay a little premium for that. So if we charged a percentage over the repair cost, we think that that's fair. That's controlling our, that's controlling your cost. It's also controlling to make sure we get a good core back. We just want to try to keep one on the shelf. So if that makes sense and you've watched this video and you need one, the more information you can provide us, the better we can give you a, a, a better price. You just send that to us.